Now, we also had to change our broadcast as far as our, our Twitter handle. It's at the game, the game on Tide, excuse me, the game on 1029 as far as our account. Uh, at the game on 1029. Uh, the station account now is at Tide 1029 FM, Tide 1029. Dot com Tide 1029.com. We are powered each and every day by Tuscaloosa Toyota. Why don't we go over to Mississippi? Fun. Good afternoon. You're inside the game. Brian, congratulations. And let me say to the new listener, I live in Mississippi and I've been calling this program for a while. And I want to tell you, this is the place. This program is a place where you will get truth and you will get reality. You won't get sugarcoat and spin here. This is not a spin zone. This is a reality show, but not one of those TV-like reality shows. It's a place where you actually get proof. So if you want to hear reality in a fun, entertaining way, this is where you go. Birmingham needs this, Ryan. And uh, Birmingham needs this program. It will, and, and I know we, we've got a lot of people that are listening to us. We're getting. A lot of tweets from a lot of different people and a lot of direct messages, emails, saying that they're listening to us from a certain part, uh, several in Birmingham, several in Hoover, and we'll make that transition, but we're also tweaking some things, okay, in engineering, uh, and, and it will only get better. So that's uh, the, the good news is, is we're, we're making that step, and we'll continue to make that step. And, and so we're, we're looking forward to bringing them in to what we have called here, known as far as Tuscaloosa's longest running sports show, the game, uh, we have fun on this program. But yeah, we do. Uh, we we have a chance. Steve Robertson, let, let me thank you for recommending Steve Robertson. And well, now you know what questions to ask. Wasn't that juicy? You know, it, it's it's fitting. It's it's fitting that McMoney played the theme song from an animated film. Because what's going on right now in the Ole Miss Athletic Department is an absolute cartoon. It's an absolute joke. And they've talked, the Athletic Department has treated their fans, the people of Mississippi, and quite frankly, everyone in listening distance, hearing distance, like fools. Like we're morons, right? Like we can't put two and two together. And, and you look at a lot of great journalists, and he named some there that had went all in with this case. Yeah, it, Ryan, it's amazing. He, you know, the man tried to pass this off. He didn't want to be the guy to break it. He tried to pass it off for two years, and nobody at the, the Clarion Ledger, which is the, the paper of record in Mississippi, couldn't get anybody to take it. Oh, the media in this state wouldn't touch. Oh Miss, and I'm telling you, it reminds me of what I've heard you talk about before, the Auburn Beat Media. It's just it's so much like the Auburn Beat Media. The only difference being that I don't I don't know if the, the writers at the Clarion Ledger are dinner guests at, at uh, Hugh Freeze's house, which is what goes on at all. Right. Well, they, they now there's some good guys that cover the Auburn Beat, okay? And sure. I there, there's a few that I'm I would get on this radio program. We feature Greg Ostendorf quite a bit from ESPN uh, that covers yeah. Auburn. But there's also some down there that they wouldn't cover a negative story. Uh, I, I tell you what's fun, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce some of the local guys here as far as when I take them to SEC Media Days coming up uh, in, in a week. I think that'll be, what, my 16th, 17th year I've covered that event. I mean, it, it, so it's, it's a lot, wow. of, lot, lot of fun. But it is fun on Auburn Day. To go in the room and set close to the Auburn beat reporters, okay, and I'm like a private investigator. I I get as close as I can, and it's fun to sit there and listen to these guys. Uh, they are as yeah. I, I don't even know if I can describe it. They're Why like, it like they're it? like like the first scene in, in Raiders of the Lost Ark, where you know the, the girls are sitting in the front of the class. And Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones is up there teaching the class, and they have those the "I love you" written on the eyebrows and every time they close their eyelids. It says "I love you." Is it like that? They're all starry eyed, gazing at their coat. No, 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 no. It just it's the talk. It, it's it's like a big family. It is, you know, it, it's a big family there. They are part yeah. of the family. Uh, Never and, to yield. 
Never to never well, and I don't, I don't, and, and listen, I'm a homer. I don't deny that. I am a homer. I am a homer. There is no but doubt you're about rational, that. Ryan. You're okay, rational, Ryan. But I also can criticize Nick Saban. Absolutely. Yeah. I can go after Cam Robinson. I can call him what he did was an embarrassment to the University of Alabama and Nick Saban in this program. Okay, and I can say Hootie Jones and anybody else that gets arrested. I don't know if they can do that. I'm with you, Brian. Going going back to the Ole Miss thing and what's going on here, I'm really starting to think, and I don't know what the NCAA is going to do, but from a standpoint of just what they've actually, what Ole Miss has been alleged to have done, and I. I I'm not sure it's really alleged anymore. Is this the worst thing, scandal since SMU? Is it that bad? I, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. It, it's possible that it is. I think the one thing that you look at, that Miami case was pretty bad. But the Miami case was how they got the information is, is what turned that case upside down. I, well, I, I, I want to say no, but I also, if this article from Pete Thamel and these articles that continue to come out, the Clarion Ledger today with, with the quotes from the players, if they're able to get electronic receipts, this case may be busted wide open in the summer of yeah. 2016. If yeah. that's truly there, how arrogant does it take for a college program? Because we all know about the brown bag, Right. We know about yeah. the twenty and the hundred dollar handshakes, right? But if Ole Miss was arrogant enough to electronically pay players, this thing, it, it's going to embarrass the NCAA if they don't do anything about it. And I don't. I think they know that. I think their reputation is on the line. That may be why they're spending a hundred hours with Lindsey Miller. Th- this, oh, I think so. This is going to be if if for those of us who follow the NCAA, and I never pull for that bunch, but I also want people to be fair. And Ole Miss right. has been a bunch of cheaters for several years, and they know that just as good as I, I do. Uh, they have cheated, and now they've got caught. It will be a major case. For those of us who, who enjoy following sports, this conversation is not going, going away next week. This media days, I would expect I would expect that as you heard an amendment. You heard Steve Robertson talking about that a couple of minutes ago. We might hear something before I see some mini dates, which would lead into the conversation that Hugh Freeze, he, he, he'll he be asked the question. He'll probably avoid talking. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine how pressure-packed that's going to be oh. for him? Uh, I may be trying to scout tickets. I mean, what what would you give me for – what would you give me for Mac Money's credential? Oh, man. Listen, just to see the sweat pouring off the faces. Oh, my gosh. Every yep. – ju- Every journalist is gonna there is gonna try to ask him about it. Oh, sure they are, no doubt. They, 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 no, they don't want to know about the season. No doubt, no doubt. Hey, Fawn, great stuff, man. Thank you. I hope you have a great Thank afternoon. You, buddy. Absolutely. You. Kudos to you. Kudos to you for getting Robertson. He's been right. Everything he says is going to happen has been happening. Kudos well, he, to you. For he getting knocked him. it Good out point. of the park today, no doubt. Uh, let's get Fawn. Great stuff, man. Thank you again, uh, Johnny and Coleman, Alabama. Good afternoon. You're inside the game. Good evening, buddy. First and foremost, congrats to the best talk, sports, radio host they are. Well deserved. Said it couldn't be done. The man had a dream. The dream is being fulfilled, buddy. We are here. We are here. Mm -hmm. Yes, you is. Yes, you is. But you know, Ryan, talking about old Miss. You know, the ego was way up on that mountaintop, and somebody just come in there and busted it. You know, if you really think about that tweet that you was discussing that they send out, you know it was everybody else. It, it wasn't them. And you know, really, that was a spit. I mean, a big old heart spit in the NCAA face. You know, and uh, Shane, I mean, they going to get what they deserve. And then you have a, a coach, and I really hate to go political here, but I just got to, right? Who does he sort of remind you of that's running for the president? 
right now that lies every time she opens her mouth. So, you know. Now, would that be, um, now what is her legal name? What, what's the other guy call her? Uh, Lying. No, no, no. I, no I, I think it's, is it Crooked Hillary? Isn't that what he calls Oh, yeah, her? yeah, yeah. And yeah. both of them, both of them are crooked, right? I mean, they, you, you oh, just, you cannot politics. get to their level without being crooked. So yeah. it's just, you know, it's, it, it's the least uh, of, of two evils. Well, you know, politicians. Now, politicians. now I've just made the Republicans <laughs> and the Democrats mad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll hang in there with you, buddy. I'll hang in there with you. But, you know, here's the deal, right? If, if you get in a den of rattlesnakes and play with them long enough, sooner or later, the odds are you're going to get bit. And I think he just got bit. So, you know, Whatever you know, we you talked about it in day one, and that, and, that, and I agree with Vaughn a hundred percent. That's what makes this show special. So when you call or you're listening to this show, you're going to hear the truth, and, and it may be you slamming Nick, and it may be you slamming Auburn or whatever, and the callers call in and, and try to be as true and honest can be, and that's and that's the reason you're at where you're at, brother, because people. Well, tune in and listen. Just like me, all the way in Coleman, Alabama. And if you make it to Mobile, that means you made it to Coleman. I'm going to be one happy dude. Absolutely. Hey, Johnny, great stuff, man. Thank you again for being a part of the show. I, I, I'm honored. So God bless you guys and, and proud to be a part of this deal. Road time.